This is Twit. Starting in January, the California Senate bill, is it 327? Is that which one it is? Is this the privacy right. bill? Stacy, Stacy, like we're going to know the number. <laughs> everyone Let's in the internet. Everyone uh, as a matter of fact, it is exactly SB 327. You're exactly right. All right, all right. Man, Ms. Higginbotham. Um, there are some things about uh, privacy and um, like things like not having hard-coded passwords and having some other elements there. I don't recall exactly um, if that may be a re reason for Google to start locking some of this down a little bit more. But I would look in the next couple of months for companies that are changing the way they handle security updates and especially new companies like launching new features around this. It's worth reading this uh, bill because this law it goes well beyond anything that uh, anywhere else in the United States. And yeah. it goes into effect January 1st. It's been signed into law. And honestly, since California is such a big part of the U.S.'s economy, it really means it's it's got to be enforced nationwide, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I know that my Christmas lights cause cancer thanks to Proposition 65. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, it, that's kind of a standing joke there. I mean, actually, why don't we have a Prop 65 warning in our, in our <laughs> building? We ought to probably. Everywhere no, you, you go. And, of course, Everywhere. the, so, the so upshot of that is that you ignore it. Mm -hmm. Even if there is a real danger, so what? It says that everywhere. Well, so Senate Bill 327 does require for any devices sold after 20, January 2020 to have um, device authentication being the minimal bar. And they all have to have like an immutable root of trust. Oh, they have to have so attestation great. and identity. So who the hell wrote this? This is great. Uh, it has to have a the uh, a unique password for every device. There has to be a means of authentication outside a local area network. Uh, this is this is uh, it sounds fairly like fairly intelligent. Fairly What's the root of immutable no, it's, it's, trust? There's a lot of good here. It's it's Absolutely. kind of the lowest stakes, but we're still selling things that are not like so modern you know, smartphones, Jeff. Uh, all uh, that I could think of, anyway. Ha our modern phones are encrypted and store in a secure enclave the uh, a, a unique encryption key, unique to each device. Uh, that encryption key is unlocked with some authentication method, fingerprint, face ID, or password, uh, and only unlocked on device. Um, so that's requiring that that be the case. It's also requiring uh, that the device contain a security feature that requires a, a user to generate a new means of authentication, in other words, a fingerprint, password, or face ID, before access is granted to the device for the first time. So, there, you know, it's it was only a few years ago that Apple let you use a phone without having it be locked. Mm -hmm. Apple does now require this. This bill will require it. All phones will have to be locked, um, and it. and will have to be locked in an appropriate way. Um, this, that's for security, but there's also uh, other stuff. And this is Yeah, I mean, if you look at something like this, this means that your thermostat or even your light switch that you buy that's connected to the internet oh, that's right. it's is going to have to have a TPM. It's connected devices. Yeah, yeah it's everything. <sighs> I, said, well, they'll, I guess they'll have to have a secure enclave. They'll have to have authentication. Right? This yeah. changes IoT. Mm-hmm. This is how I know about it. <laughs> I didn't why even she knows think it's 326. about that. Wow. 327, Jeff. Oh, see? I mean, this see? is... <laughs> I thought you were talking about what time oh, it no, is. No, it's no. only three. The, it's... Bill, the bill, 327. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Senate Bill 327. <laughs> that is wild. In connected devices means cameras, doorbells. There's no authentication. I guess there is. Well, so, so they actually... So... You have the ability to have a TPM or some sort of secure enclave. Um, everybody calls it something a little bit different. On microcontrollers, ARM put that in about a year oh, and a half or two years good. ago. So that's, but a lot of companies don't actually implement them. So they're on there. They just don't use them. Now they will if they want to sell in California. But when you say they're they on there, to. but they don't use it, is it as easy as flipping a switch? Um, it's a software thing. So you have to, when you're programming your device, you have to know how to implement it. Like you, you don't ha have to know how to write the code to turn it on basically okay. in 
design around it properly. So, so 327 is essentially an IoT security bill. There, there is also yes. a privacy bill. I, I conflated the two, and I apologize. There is also a very strong privacy bill that will become yes, law in January. Is. This is, wow, this is an IoT privacy mm -hmm. bill, basically, uh, a security bill. Someone's forward thinking on this. I don't know if it's forward. I mean, it's <laughs> freaking four years past Mirai, but okay, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> sure, it's yeah. forward thinking. Now, I'm sure there are, this is, here's a blog post that calls it legisur legisurity. <laughs> uh, security through legisurity. There are going to be people who say, oh, this is lame and blah, blah, blah. Um, sure. But I think that's I mean, a good step. It sounds smarter. It's a good start. It's, than I would ever expect from a legislature. Yeah, if we were going to actually try to do this in the U.S., and it takes some of the same things that the U.K. is trying to do with their, I keep wanting to call it Common Core, but that's not what it's called. <laughs> they have a Common Something Security Initiative. Um, it's like Common yeah. Core, only for security. I'm thinking of the curriculum standard. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Okay, I was like, I <laughs> no, don't no. even know what I'm talking I, about anymore. Here in California, we know a lot about Common Core. Um, so... Wow. So, wow. All of you have the most, y'all are all like head down, clearly trying We're to We're trying to, mm -hmm. yeah, you've so already serious. grocked it. You're mm -hmm. way ahead of us. You already read always, the bill. As always. What is, what is she saying? Um, that translate to what now? Individuals <laughs> cannot sue manufacturers over noncompliance, however. This is a law that the state will have to implement. This is a, not a, doesn't give you a chance to sue. Um, this is good though. This is, I think this is exact. Do you agree, Stacey? This is what IOT yeah, needs. There's lots, there's lots to like here. I mean, could it go a little further? Sure. But everybody, you know, this is, does this a is refrigerator good. need a password? Um, if you want me to connect it to the internet, it should. yes. And that's what this now, DevOps blog is, says. It's not so much about securing your refrigerator as securing the eco, the entire ecosystem. It's, yeah, it's the it's basically like you know how if, if one person has an STD, then right. everybody's going to eventually get the STD. That's, that's what my that's doctor the told me. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to take. What care does of it do things. to costs, Stacey? To costs? Yeah. Um, it'll probably raise costs somewhat in the short term because companies have been pushing out. Most of the reputable companies that you buy things from already do this, right? They already are implementing yeah, this. Yeah. So okay. All right. the five dollar outlets, maybe not so much. So that's kind of where that is. Does that I, I, that's not helping? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you it's going to add two dollars to everything. But no, no, no. But it's not going to be prohibitive. It doesn't have to be. And the more people who implement it because it's a software and silicon based thing, right. the cheaper it's going to get.